Hey, how's it going guys? This is just a quick video. I just opened up my Zotac card. So the rundown of this is my mining rig has been having issues where it shuts off like every 30 minutes. I'm trying to figure out what it is. And the first step for me is I did all the software diagnostics I could. I repaired the Windows files. I, I fixed all the issues. I ran the memory diagnostic test. Everything was fine but now i'm just trying to dissipate the heat from the cards because this old tech 3070 ti has been running around 92 to 96 celsius at 100 percent fan speed and that's just too hot so uh i didn't take the back plate off but this card has three screws right behind this panel right there and it has the four for the die and it has two on top of the back plate and then you have the screws in here if you want to take the uh, the card apart. Now, if you see how small this card is, it's actually about the same size as the tube of thermal paste that I used. Now, I don't really have much thermal pads left, but what I plan on doing is maybe like removing all that excess oil you can see right there. This card has a lot of it. It's all over the memory chips. I, remo I plan on removing it and then uh, possibly adding just a small bit of thermal paste on there uh, if I don't have enough thermal pads because I did that on my 3080 and it dropped the temperatures drastically down to 82C and uh, that was about a 20 degree drop and I think this might help. If this doesn't help then one of my cards has an issue or could be this this is what I've been using because I only have four PCIe slots on this motherboard but um, all these cards use the same drivers so if uh, the problem still persists after everything and the cards seem fine then it's probably a Windows issue and I'm going to have to reinstall it even though it said there was no issues and it's kind of a pain this rig has been shutting down for the past five days and uh i'm just trying to fix the issue guys if you guys know how to fix it it's kernel uh code 117 or 177 whatever it is and then i got the error 193 now it happens so uh like all over the place that i haven't been able to catch it myself so um it could be a blue screen, I'm not sure, it probably is, but yeah, I don't know. Just, uh, I'm going to try to figure it out. I'm going to do this first and let you guys know how that goes. So, uh, thanks for watching. This is just a quick video. Um, I didn't take apart the fans or anything. This is the cooler. That's how the card looks. You don't even have to take much apart to open this card, but I'm really surprised at how small this PCB is probably a great candidate for a uh, water cooled build that doesn't have much space but yeah guys thanks for watching also wanted to point out for actually this piece of metal is super thin um not sure what they were thinking msi did the same thing and you can see there's a gap right there just like the msi car but uh there might be screws under here i'm gonna take a look at that and let you guys, uh, I mean, you guys could figure it out, but I, I just thought it was weird. Also, this die is a lot, it looks smaller than the other cards I opened. But yeah, guys, peace.